Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will see ISPF utilities. As you know, ISPF is our mainframe software on which we are working. There are some predefined utilities which we will see now. Now this is the agenda. First is keys command, then we have scrolling options, then how to compress a PDS and then the swap list. Now keys command. You have seen when you press F3, it exits from the one screen and it goes to the previous menu. Similarly, if you want that it should be F4, like if you press F4, it should exit. Then you can do this by using keys command. It is used to map the function keys according to our convenience. Write keys in the command line, press enter. It will display a new menu in which the mapping will be present. You can change that mapping. Instead of F3, you can write exit in the front of F4, hit enter, the changes will be saved. Now when you will press F4, it will exit. Now next is scrolling options. There are three scrolling options. When you navigate from top to bottom, you press F7 and F8. And if you want to go from left to right, you press F11. And if you want to go back to left, you press F10. Now, how much it should go? How much it should navigate? So it is, uh, we can decide it, this by using the options, the scroll options, which are given in the topmost right corner of the screen. You can write page, you can write CSR, that is cursor, and you can give the line number as well. So in the page option, it moves the screen window by one page. Either it's uh, top, either it's down, either it's left or either it's right. Now, then we have cursor option. So it, it moves the screen window so that the data ends at the cursor position. Suppose if you have placed cursor at one position and you press F8, till that line, the screen, uh, screen will be scrolled. Now, if you, you can also give line number. Suppose every time you press F8, it should go down by five lines. In that, you can mention the line number as 5. Give 5, hit enter. When you press F8, it will go down only by 5 lines. Similarly, you can use this with F10 and F11 as well. Now, next is compress. Suppose you have created one PDS, its size is almost full. Now, if you want to accommodate one or two members and it is not allowing you saying PDS is full, it, you can compress the size of PDS by using Z. Type Z in front of PDS, hit enter. It will show PDS is compressed. Now, the swap list. We know F9 is used for swapping from one session to another session. Suppose if you have opened multiple sessions, then how to see them? You can use swap list, write swap list in the command line, it will open a new menu. So on that you can see the list of active screens at that moment and you can choose from the list to navigate to a particular screen. Now we'll see all these functionalities practically. We will start with keys command. At the bottom of the page, you can see the information related to function keys. Keys command is used to change the default options or to add a new shortcut. Suppose you want that when you press F4, it should exit instead of F3. Type keys here. Enter. This screen is the Key list utility screen. Here you can see the default options like F1 is for help, F2 is for split. Now we will add functionality for F4. We'll type exit in front of F4. Enter. F3 exit. At the bottom, you can see we have F4 for exit. So here F4 is for exit. Also we have F3 for exit. If we press F4, so it will take, it will exit from the screen. So I am pressing F4 here. Exit. Similarly, you can change the keys according to your convenience. If we want, we can set 3.4 option directly and map it to F5 key. So I will write keys again. Enter. Here for F5, I will write 3.4. Enter. So this is the label what you want its name. So I will write DS list as fourth option is DS list. And enter. Exit. 
so here you can see f5 as ds list if i will press f5 it will take me directly to ds list option that is 3.4 so here we are at the d list option exit I'm exit I'm using f4 key to exit like we have uh, recently said this command exit now we'll discuss about scroll options we have three scroll options page option cursor option and line number line number option let me open any member so I'm going to DS list enter we'll open one member here so, this is the scroll option like page cursor or line so it is applicable to the members as well as inside the members so it is related to scroll options we'll open it in edit mode reset so here you can see this has 006 so we'll start with cursor option CSR enter so I will put my cursor here on 11th line and I will press F8 it will sc scroll till cursor position so like we have placed here so it has scrolled till this position suppose if I want to scroll it to this line I will place my cursor here and I will press F8 again so here we are at this line now we will change this to page option enter we will go to the top of data so I will place my cursor here and when I will press F8 it will scroll the complete page irrespective of the cursor position let me show you again so I'm placing at 16th so in cursor if it it, it it was cursor then it should scroll till this since it's a page option now so when I will pl place my cursor here and press F8 it will scroll the complete page so here you can see so same for F7 also so now we'll discuss about line number scroll option so here you can give the number as well so we'll give 6 if I mention any number here then it will scroll only that specified number suppose I have given here 6 so press F8 so I'm starting with 1 and when I'm pressing F8 so it has scroll 6 lines We were at the first line and now we are at the sixth line. It is scrolling six lines in a go. So again F8, again six lines, so it's twelfth. So this is all about scroll options. Now we will discuss about compress command. Suppose if you have created a PDS and the number of members are more and it is almost full and it is not allowing you to add a new member and still you want one more member inside that PDS then you can use the compress command to compress its size so what we need to do is type Z in front of PDS suppose I will type Z here and press enter so here you can see the member has been compressed and we can add more members in it so next is swap list swap list swap list command is used to display all the screens which you have opened let me open three different screen then we'll use this start more I'm opening spoofy I'm opening another screen 
so i will open keys so now we have three different screen opened so i will write swap list here enter so here you can see three different lists so one is ds list one is settings and this one is poofy if you want to select any if you want to go directly to settings you can write s in front of it and you can directly go to that screen so here we are in the settings menu if you want to go to spoofy then in the swap list enter select the second s and you are in the spoofy menu exit this is all about different ispf commands we have a lot of utilities in ISPF which you will learn once you start working on mainframes. I have given an overview of them and explained the basic and important commands and utilities. In the next video, we will see how to use Poofy which is a DB2 tool.